Oh my gosh. No! <gasps> oh. Or yes, they can. Everybody, welcome back to Popcorn in Bed. Although tonight is my favorite treat, mini eggs. These ones were specially imported from Canada, so they are even better. Name one candy that's better. Okay, tonight I'm excited to watch a movie that was requested by one of my top tier patrons. When you're at that tier, your wish is my command and you get to pick a movie and I get to watch it. This was from Chris Tarian. He requested The Last of the Mohicans. I have never even heard of this movie, so I know literally nothing about it. Don't know the when it was made, who's in it, what it's about. I assume from the name it's about a possibly a Native American tribe, but honestly I don't know what to expect. But I'm excited because I trust him and my patrons and my YouTube subscribers and commenters. And once again, thank you guys for being here. Okay, here we go. 1757, that's a long time ago. The American colonies, England and France for the possession of the continent. Daniel Day Lewis, that name sounds familiar. Whoa, that is triumphant music. Are these the three men at the edge of the Hudson River that it talked about? Oh. The Lang. We're sorry to kill you, brother. Oh, that's nice. Oh, now. French and Indian Army are heading south out of Fort Caroline to war against the British. He sounds like an American. Are the people here are gonna join in that fight? Is he as well? Oh, we all too friends. Oh, that's what he's doing to his mama. <laughs> So how do these groups know each other? His Majesty King George II is very grateful for your support. It should be enough to remind you all that France is our enemy. That's your enemy. While we're at your fort, what if the French attack our home? For your homes, for king, for country! You do what you want with your own scalp. Then I'll be telling us what we ought to do with ours. But I believe England's still our sovereign. Okay. I'm staying on my farm. Okay, so it looks like there's a tribe, Americans, the English who want to go fight the French. That's pretty. We speak for the men, not command them. They will report or be pressed into service. I cannot imagine His Majesty would ever object to his uh, loyal American subjects defending their hearth and home, their women and children. Does that mean they will be granted leave to defend their homes if the settlements are attacked? Of course. That seems reasonable. You got yourself a colonial militia, General. The Crown negotiating the terms of service. One has to reason with these colonials to get them to do anything. I thought British policies make the world England. This guy's brave. The French haven't the nature for war. Rather eat and make love with their faces than fight. The Scotsman has sent you one of his Mohawk allies to guide you. I'm a little bit confused, but I'm just gonna keep watching. Cora. Is this the girl from the locket? Duncan! By God, it's good to see you. This is very Bachelor-esque. I truly wish they did, but my feelings don't go beyond friendship. Aww. In my heart, I know, once we're joined, we'll be the most marvelous couple in London. Oh, then you have to talk them into it. Please consider that. Aww. Okay. He loves Cora. Cora does not love Duncan. Is that her sister? We must stop soon. Women are tired. How are the women tired? They're just riding horses. <laughs> what are these guys up to? Uh oh. Whoa. Oh my gosh. 
Oh. Uh oh. Oh my gosh. Wait. Are these their own people? No, don't. In case your aim's any better in your judgment. What just happened? Are all of the soldiers dead? We were headed to Fort William Henry. We'll take you as far as the fort. We're walking out of here fast. Unless all of you'd rather wait for the next year on war party to come by. I don't want to be insensitive, but is this guy, is he an American that chose to join the natives or is he native? He just, I don't know. Oh, to have to hike in a dress like that. No reason that he had to murder the girl. You never set eyes on her before today. How is it you were so nearby? Heading west of Kentucky. He seems very in tune with the land. Oh my gosh, no! That was the mom from the beginning. Oh my gosh. Oh, those were their friends. Oh gosh, who did that? They didn't take anything. I've seen the face of war before, sir, but I've not seen war made upon women and children. And almost as cruel as your indifference. Oh. Miss Monroe, they're not strangers. And they stay as they lay. The boy, too? So he said to Francais means he thinks it was the French who did that? Why didn't you bury those people? Anyone looking for our trail would see it as a sign we passed that way. You were acting for our benefit, and I apologize. I misunderstood you. My father warned me Your about Your father? People. Chingachgook, you warned me about people like you. He said, do not try to understand them. Uh-oh. <sighs> no. I'm so confused. Mozilla. Why did they turn back? Burial ground. Where's your real family? They buried my mom, pa, and my sisters. Chingachgook family with two French trappers raised me up as his own. Okay. That makes sense. Why were those people living in this defenseless place? After seven years indentured service in Virginia, they headed out here because Frontier is the only land available to poor people. Her name was Cameron. John Alexander Cameron. Uh, so was the husband John there? Or just his wife and son? forth from her breast the stars they're gonna be in love aren't they the stars she threw into the night sky to remind him of her soul sorry duncan so does that mean they're almost to fort william uh oh what does that mean oh no <gasps> is this the french attacking fort william They get the canoe. They're just trying to sneak in. Is that John? Alice, Cora, why are you here? I told you to stay away. When? My letter. There was no. Does Webb not even know we have a siege? Sir Webb has no idea, and he certainly does not know to send reinforcements. Oh no. These men came to our aid. They guided us here. Thank you. Do you need anything? Some food. Indebted to you. Okay, so he sent letters saying they're under siege, but they didn't get the letters. Oh, communication was so hard back then. Oh. The situation is his guns are bigger than mine, and he has more of them. If they're digging 30 yards a day, you have three days. Man here can make a run straight through to Webb. Webb is it Edward? That's only 12 miles away. What does that mean? He could have reinforcements here the day after tomorrow. Something else. Frontier camp. It came upon it yesterday. It was burned out. Everyone murdered. It was Ottawa. Allied to the French. Is Ottawa a tribe? So? It was a war party. Thank you, sir. Settlers have family out there. That'll be all, sir. Those considerations are subordinate to the interests of the Crown. Oh, no. 
What's this? Please don't get attacked Magua. right now. That's Magua. Magua was successful. By now, Monroe would know his dispatch did not get through. The gray hair's children were under Magua's knife. They escaped. Why do you hate the gray hair, Magua? When the gray hair is dead, Magua will eat his heart. Magua will put his children under the knife. Oh my gosh. Is that Colonel Monroe, the gray hair? Did Monroe do something horrible to Magua? We'll see, and then it's going to drop. About done holding hands with Miss Monroe. Okay, so what we just saw was the French, the choir. I thought that was like school children of, I don't know. I feel some heat, some chemistry. So these are the militia that were promised so, they yards. could leave if their families are being attacked, which looks like they are, judging by the Camerons. Is this the messenger? Wow. It's a good shot. And how am I to know it wasn't a raid by common thieves? Cabin was attacked by a war party fighting with the French. I judge military matters here, not you. Under agreement with Webb to defend our farms and families. Major Haber was there. He was at John yes. Cameron's. He saw what it was. What exactly did you see, Major? I saw nothing. You're a liar. Yes, he is. We're not forgetting Webb's promise. I need more definite proof than this man's word. That is the truth. I'll have you beaten from this fort. He helped you. Someday I think you and I are going to have a serious disagreement. Anyone actually caught leaving will be shot for desertion. <gasps> Get out! They have to escape. They have to go protect their families. Cora, when we come together back in England and are married and away from this place, what had to be done and said here will matter not at all. Except your honor. Please take this as my final answer. It must be now. Call him out for lying. I see. No. Women and children. Where is this? A baby crying in the distance just makes everything so terrible. Ian, if I had kin in the settlements, hell be damn sure I'd be long gone. All they have over us then is tyranny. And I will not live under that yoke. That's true. You're not coming with us? I got a reason to stay. That reason wear a striped skirt and work in the surgery. It does. Uh-oh. Looks like there's some sort of disease. Oh, I thought they were gonna start dancing. Or, oh, they are in secret. His eyes are open. In this time, would this be bad? Out of wedlock, English with a American colony person? It looks like the cover of a romance novel. He saved us. We were alive only because of him. He is guilty of sedition. He must be tried and hanged like any other criminal, regardless of what he did for my children. Duncan, do something to me. You falsely spoke of what you saw. What happened at the farm was as Nathaniel said. You are defending him because you've become infatuated with him. Duncan. He's jealous. You are a man few admirable qualities. If that's justice, then the sooner French guns blow the English army out of America, the better it will be for the people here. Way to stand up for yourself and him, Cora. Why didn't you leave when you had the chance? Because what I'm interested in is right here. The French officers will try to protect the officers among the English. I will find you. Do not. Why would the French officers try to protect the English officers? The whole world's on are they in range now? Oh. Now what? Remember what I told you. Stay close to your father and the officers. So did the French get in? Is that Magua? Is this how they're gonna fight? Please accept my compliments. What's going Under on? Under the command of a lesser man, it would have fallen long ago. I'm a soldier, not a diplomat. 
You call this parlay for a better reason than an exchange of compliments. This is a parlay. Scouts intercepted this dispatch intended for you. Sir, I regret to inform you that I have no men available to send to your rescue. I advise you to seek terms for surrender. This is the signature of Webb. I beg you not to sign the death warrant of so many until you have listened to what I have to say. Listen. None of your men will see the inside of a prison barn. They are free, so long as they return to England and the civilian militia return to their farm. That seems like a good deal. Allow me to consult with my officers. Monsieur le Marquis, my fort is yours, under the condition that I be given till dawn to bury my dead. Granted, monsieur. I hope he's not tricking them. Uh-oh. Is the hatchet buried between the English and my French father? So now I call them enemies no longer. Magua's children were killed by the English. Magua's wife. Oh. Believed he was dead. Became the wife of another. His heart will be whole again on the day the gray hair and all his seed are dead. But I cannot break the term of the surrender and sully the lilies of France. Is he saying that he can't do it, but he could? I knew something bad must have happened to Magua by the English. Are they bringing Nathaniel? The soldiers must be happy they don't have to fight, right? Oh no. Oh, they're not as outnumbered as I thought. Oh no, on both sides. There's women and children. What are they going to do? I hate this. Oh my gosh. fighting he can't find her holy cow I will put under the knife your children oh oh <gasps> oh he saved her so far. Is that Jack? No, he already left. Duncan is escaping? Okay, are some of those people that were just trying to kill them in the other canoes? Uh-oh. Okay. Uh-oh. What? Where did they go? What did they... you see my father? From a distance. Oh. Get back. Oh. Are they gonna find love too? I like him. Nathaniel's brother. Did they just kill all those people? They have no guns, yes, right? They're the their powder is wet. Done everything you can do, save yourself! What? Stay alive! They're leaving? Stay alive, no matter what occurs, I will find you! I'm confused. They're separating? No, because Magua's gonna kill her. I don't get the plan. It didn't tell me what they were saying. They're thinking if they leave, then they won't fight them. If they find them, they'll just take them. Did Nathaniel's father and brother leave too? He's not gonna kill them? Their plan worked then? Oh my. They did it. There's just the three of them. Now these two brothers can find the two sisters they love, get married on a mountaintop, <sighs> except they're prisoners. Oh. Around the neck? Oh, she's leaving pins. 
I like how there's no question they're just gonna go after her with him. Oh wow. They must be tired. Is this back at the Huron camp? They're just walking into camp? <gasps> or they found him. What's going on? I come to you unarmed and in peace. Let the children of the dead Colonel Monroe go free. The French fathers made peace. Magua broke it. Would the Huron make his Algonquin brothers foolish with brandy and steal his lands to sell them for gold to the white man? Would Huron have greed for more land than a man can use? Those are the ways of the Yengis and the Francais traders. Magua's heart is twisted. Let the children of the dead Monroe and the Yankees officer go free. No. My death is a great honor to the Huron. Take me. Will you tell him? Yes. Yeah, she's right, don't I? I said, take me. Take her and get her! Duncan sacrificed himself? Oh my gosh. Shot him so he wouldn't have to suffer. What are they gonna do with Alice? He's gonna go save Alice? Is he? Wow. That's so beautiful. The three of them can't take on all those guys. Oh. oh, yes, they can. Oh, on a cliff side. Oh, is that Magua? No. What is she doing? No? Wait. Is she gonna jump? Wait. At this point, are they just going to kill Magua for killing their brother? Please, no. I feel like that was so much unnecessary death. He's right, Magua let what he hated turn him into what he hated. My son, tell him to be patient, for they are all there. But one, I, Chingachka, last of the Mohicans. They're the only two left of their whole tribe. It's over. Okay, well, I was surprised by that movie. It had all of it. It had romance way more than I expected, although I wouldn't have been mad if there was even more romance, especially between Alice and Unka, and even Nathaniel and Cora. I would have loved to see even more build up. I did love the line when she's like, what are you looking at? You, ma'am, looking at you. Um, it had a lot of action. There was, oh, I want to look up how much of that was historically accurate. I don't know very much about before uh, British had control of America and the French and Indian War. I know I'm gonna get commenters that are like, you're so dumb, but. This is why I'm watching movies like this, to learn. And this makes me want to go look things up and read about it and, you know, so I think that helps. But I, yeah, I really enjoyed it. I thought 
the music was really beautiful and the backdrops and scenery were stunning. I thought there was like some cheesy parts, but you know, like cover of romance novels, cheesy parts and longing looks, but I, I don't mind the cheesy whatsoever. I want to go research more and see if the whole revenge plot and the Fort William stuff, how accurate that was. Yeah, I never would have watched this movie, I don't think, if it wasn't for this channel and this process, so I'm really grateful I did. It was an unexpected love story mixed with action and adventure, and I really enjoyed it. Whew, okay, I guess I need to go watch Airplane 2 to lighten the mood. Just kidding, but soon, maybe, one day. Okay.